In case you do not know, these engines have no moving parts. This video is about what I believe to be the world's fastest putt-putt. Now speed is not usually the first thing that comes to mind when talking about putt-putts. What you are seeing here is a commercially made model running at full speed. Not too impressive, is it? This is world's fastest putt-putt. If you are not familiar with putt-putt engines, you might think that this is not very fast either. But speed is a relative thing, so a comparison is required between putt-putts, not between a putt-putt and a Ferrari. To put the speed in perspective, here are the two running together. On a good day, the Titanic model can do about 0.4 miles per hour. My design has been clocked at 2.1 miles per hour over 1,800 feet. Its best speed so far is 2.24 miles per hour for shorter distances. To keep them tracking in a circle, my engine is tethered by the bar to the center post in the pool. A Titanic is tethered by a nylon line. Both engines work on the same principle. The Titanic is the one making all the noise because it has a diaphragm on the engine boiler. My engine does not have a diaphragm and is therefore silent. The engine sound adds something if you're only listening to it occasionally. It can become downright annoying if you are running your engine a lot. I don't know for a certainty if this is the fastest putt-putt ever built. I've done a lot of looking for about three years and found nothing that comes close. In claiming the world speed record for putt-putt engines, the option is there for someone to prove me wrong, and I don't mind a bit if they do. I like a challenge. 